Sorry, I was super confused, as usual. So, the good news for you guys is that I can't come to school today, so you're welcome. The bad news for me is that I can't come to school today. Um, <clears throat> sorry, that's kind of why I can't come to school. So, I need somebody who's a reasonable and responsible human to go in the back corner desk of my room, because I don't even know if I'm going to have a sub, and on that shelf that's behind my desk on top is like a pile of papers on the right end and a pile on the left end. You guys are the right end because you're always right. If you go in there, you're going to find this sheet of paper because it's not in the notes packet. And then you should also find 5.5 day three worksheet. And I will double check that you have an answer key online so that you can check it. I know it's not ideal. I'm totally annoyed. Um, we aren't going to be able to change the pace or the timing, so I'm not going to come back and reteach this. We have to keep moving on because there's not enough days left in the semester. I'm hoping that I'll be back tomorrow, but I guess I don't know. So anyway, the beauty of the video is you can watch it over and over and over with your friends and everything. Uh, the other beauty is that I think it's going to be pretty easy. Um, and if you feel like ringing the bell, go for it. All right. Let's see here. So we already know how to do everything on this sheet. It says we have learned how to go from a polynomial function, which is like this, two factors. Now, when it's a higher order um, polynomial, we've had to use long division. We've had to use synthetic division, which is so much better. And then we use actual factoring techniques that we learned earlier. Um, and on occasional rare, horrible um, occasions, we have to use quadratic formula. So I guess I'll put it here sort of against my will. And then that results in the zeros. And I've been making that chart forever for days like today because I am going to turn around and do this the opposite direction. And the only way you can do something backwards is if you absolutely feel confident doing it forwards. So let's do what we already know how to do. It says, find all the zeros. One factor has been given. Okay, so if they're telling me this is a factor, I get to throw that bubby right here. And then I know you are smart enough to know that the zero that goes with that is negative five. So I am gonna go ahead and use that zero like we learned yesterday in synthetic division. And I'm gonna use the coefficients from up in my problem, which is a one, a nine, a 23 and a 15. And I'm kind of looking to make sure that I don't have a zero that I have to incorporate and I don't because it goes three, two, one, gone. So there's no missing powers of X. Then I'm going to do my thing where I drop this first number, everything below the line gets multiplied, and then I'm going to combine each column hoping to get a zero at the end because it says it is a factor. So I should have a zero at the end. So this is going to give me a four, Boom, boom, three, negative 15. Yay, happy day. Hadina is gone and I got a zero. Win, win. So like we talked about yesterday, because this is currently an X cubed, it will drop by one power. So today, three, take away one is two. So this fact, excuse me, this polynomial we have left is one X squared plus four X plus three and we need it to equal zero. So we are working on this part right now. We did synthetic division to break it down, and now that we're at a quadratic, we can either factor it or use quadratic formula. In this case, I can make three in only one way, <clears throat> but lucky day, it happens to add up to four, which is what I need it to do. So my factors will be x, x, three, one, <coughs> And in order to get a positive four, I need them both to be plus. Alrighty. So my other factors are x plus one and x plus three. Keeping in mind that when it says on a worksheet or ultimately the text test next week, when it says to list all factors, that is all factors, including the one that they gave you. The idea is that if I broke, excuse me, if I rewrote this as factors instead of all multiplied out, if I wrote it as x plus 5 that they gave me 
times the other two. Then it starts to kind of look like, what was that, 5, 2? 5, 3, I think it was, where I had to multiply everything out. And if I did multiply everything out, and we practiced back in 5, 3, I would foil this, and then I would multiply everything by these guys. Well, what would happen is I'd end up right back with that same thing. That's the idea of factors, is they have to multiply to go back and become <coughs> what you had before. So then if it asks me to list all of my zeros, I figure out what makes each of those equal zero. <coughs> and so my zeros are negative five, negative one, negative three. And those will be the three places that this polynomial would cross the x-axis. All right, that is not new. So if you're like, wow, I just learned so much. Okay, that's not good because I already taught you that. Here's the new stuff. So what we're going to do here is we're going to reverse the process. So instead of starting with a polynomial, working towards factoring, and then getting our zeros, we're going to go the other direction. We're going to be given some zeros. And then the reason I love the chart is it'll be really easy to think backwards to get my factors. And then once I have the factors, even though you won't love it, so sad face, you will multiply them all like we did in 5.3 to get the polynomial function in standard form. So standard form, remember, means from the highest to lowest power. It says, write the standard form equation of a polynomial function with the following factors. So make yourself that handy dandy chart. And they were nice enough to give us all the factors. How kind. There's that one. This one, what they didn't give me is enough room. And they is actually me. So I guess I can't complain. Alrighty. So now my zeros will be, don't let this one blow your mind. The only way to make 2x squared be zero is if x is zero. It's a little bit funky monkey that it happens twice. In pre-calc, you get to learn all about that. It's called multiplicity and it's super fun. Foreshadowing. Here my zero would be one and here my zero would be negative three. So we actually started in the middle here. We're just doing this last leg of the journey, but we kind of looked back to make sure that we know what we're doing. All righty. So when we are supposed to write the um, standard form equation, we're going to need to multiply everything out. So let's do that. That looks fun. I'm going to go ahead and this is just like a throwback. So it's like throwback Tuesday. Ring the bell. I'm going to foil these first. Why? Because I want to. It doesn't really matter which ones you multiply first, but that's what I'm feeling. Okay, so when I do FOIL that, I get first. Now the outside would be positive 3x, but the inside would be negative 1x. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right away because I'm in honors math. And then the last term, negative 1 times a positive 3 is going to be a negative 3. Okay, I'm kind of channeling my inner 5.3. So that's why we learned and practiced those skills. Now I need to distribute this last one to everybody, which requires me to use my 5.1 skills to remember that when I distribute, the powers multiply. So my function, and do not be the person who forgets to put the f of x when you're writing your standard form equation. I have been talking about this since day one. Equation, gotta have an equal sign. It's got to be equal to something. Some of you are like, nope, going to take a half point every single time. I'm just going to take the loss. Stop doing that. So when I distribute, I'm going to have 2x to the fourth. Here, 2 times 2 becomes 4. I should probably put a plus. And then x to the second times x to the first becomes x to the third. And then my last one is 2x squared times the negative 3, so negative 6x squared. Boomsy Dunzo. I did what they said. Write a standard form equation of a polynomial function with the following factors. So that's like saying write a number with the following factors, 2 times 3 times 4. Multiply them out, and you're done. That is your number for these factors. And I did the same thing. I took my three factors, just like I took my three numbers, Multiplied a couple of them, multiplied by the other one, done. 
Here I foiled out two of them, multiplied them by the last one, done. Easy, make peasy. Don't even pretend you don't know how to do it because I'm not there. All right, now we're gonna go from the very beginning because now we're like practically experts. So instead of giving me the factors, they're gonna give me the zeros. How do I know that? Because it says, and it's kind enough to say so typically in bold letters. So don't do, go too fast. Don't make an assumption that you know what they're giving you. Read it. So here, if these are my zeros, they should probably go in the zero column of my chart, don't you think? So I have a zero of negative one, positive three. Ooh, this can be a doozy. And negative one half. You gotta be a thinker on that one. So we have to go to the factors. You can't just multiply the zeros out. We have to multiply our factors out. Do some thinking cap kind of thinking. Uh, this one's not very hard. What would give me a negative one as a zero? X plus one. How about a three? X minus three. Ooh, how about this one? You got to think. What's going to be where in order for me to get negative one half when it's set equal to zero? So if I think backwards, it's going to be two X plus one because if this is where I started, I'd minus that one from both sides and I would divide by two. So you're going to have to use your thinker to get that last one. Now, I know you wish you were done, but you're not done. Not all wishes come true. So we are this far. We had zeros. Now we have factors. Now we're going to rock those and turn them into polynomial function by multiplying. So my function, standard form equation, so I got an equal sign, f of x equals, and this is what we call factored form for no like mysterious reason. Factored form is you write out the factors. Standard form, you got to multiply them all out. So let's do it. So these two, I'm going to go ahead and foil. <coughs> First, the outside's negative 3x, but the inside's a positive 1x, so full bam. And then this last part will be a negative 3. And then I'm going to multiply by this. So you're still flashing back to 5, 3. And what we're going to do now is multiply everything by this 2x and then everything by the 1. I have zero room, so I'm coming down here because I am messy. So if I multiply everything by 2x, I'll get 2x to the third minus 4x to the second, and then here, minus 6x. All right. Then I'm going to have to go ahead and multiply everything by a positive 1. I'm going to do the Hadean thing where I line them up. So 1 times x squared is 1x squared, and I'm going to put it under the other x squared so that I don't get lost and confused. Then 1x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 1 times negative 3 today in honors math is negative 3. Big fat line, and now I'm just combining. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these. So my final answer is a polynomial function. That's an equation, so I write it like one. And I have 2x cubed. Here I'll get negative 3x squared. These combine to be negative 8x. And these combine, well, they don't combine. There's only that one. All right, let's practice all the big brain stuff. That's the answer to that question. One of the things you have to do on this upcoming celebration of knowledge is make sure you did what they said. Did you write a standard form equation of the polynomial? Yes. Let's practice, though. Let's pretend your big mean teacher was going to make you, look at that straight line, so cool, was going to make you graph this bad boy. All you care about is this. Unless you care about this. Sneak attack. This is your y-intercept, by the way. So, fun fact, it's going to cross there because if I plug a zero in for all of these x's, I get a negative three. You're not responsible for knowing that, but why not? learn more stuff. Fill your brain with good things. Okay, so let's walk through this. My leading coefficient is two. Nobody cares. What we care about is that it's positive. 
So the right end will go up because your leading coefficient tells you what the right end does. Then we look at the degree. Degree is three, nobody cares. All we care about is that it's odd. So they're gonna be opposites. So my right end's going up due to the positive leading coefficient and my left end's not gonna go the same way. It's gonna go the other way. Then my zeros, which were given to me up here, mean it'll cross that negative one, positive one, two, three, and negative one half. All right, so this is the far right and my little deducing here told me that the right end will go up. This is the far left point, so that's gonna go down. Now the part I don't know exactly is the rest. I know it's gotta go here, but it's gotta come back down. And then I just learned that that last number at the end is gonna be where it crosses Y, so that's kind of fun. And then it has to come back up through here. Sweet. Now I know everything in the whole entire world, or at least enough to get through my 5.5 .5 day three worksheet. So make it happen. Um, you are not gonna be successful in using you were gone as an excuse because I made this incredibly helpful video, which is surprisingly like what I would have done in class, except in class, I would have rang the bell and done assorted other annoying things and you would have had to see me. So there's all kinds of perks. Now you're gonna go get that worksheet and you're not gonna be like, the sub didn't give it to me or we didn't have a sub. You're gonna like be smart. You're gonna go to my room, you're gonna get Mr. Liberty or some other kind human to open the door. You're gonna go onto that shelf, you're gonna find the worksheets, you're gonna get one to everybody and they're gonna ring the bell because you're so awesome. Appreciate you, hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good one, bye-bye.